What's going on? Welcome to uh, KE Sports Talk. And today I'm going to give you the day three results. So a lot has happened. Um, yep. So, so here we go. So, okay. So the first thing um, we're going to head to is, yep, Canada, France, Lebanon, yep, and Lafayette. Yep, so there we go. So we're going to get straight into this. And by the way, give me the HKO special. Help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment on it. So, wow. Yes, so let's get into the scores. We're going to start with in Indonesia. So let's go. All right, so Australia lost to Germany um, or not. Let's go to Indonesia. Oh, yeah. Let's start with Canada beating up on Lebanon. Yes. So Canada, you had Barrett with 17 and Ijim had 13. And Lebanon, of course, you have the Amari Spellman with 16 from KCC. And Zion had 15. So, yep. So Canada pretty much handled business, 128.73. That means, uh, yep, Lebanon's 0-2, Canada is 2-0 on the spread there. So let's go to the other area, and let's. this is the huge upset, France and Lafia. Wow. Yes. So Lafia ended up edging France. Uh, Zagars had 22, and Smiths had 20, and then for France... You had Fortnier leading the way with 27, and you have a Sully with 18. So, yeah, it was a real close game, and now France is 0-2. So that is not good. So so that's there's a good chance that France will not reach the podium. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to now move over. Yep. The World Cup of Basketball in Japan. Yes. So there's some a lot of surprises here. So this is kind of ruining it with my predictions. All right. So we're going to start off with, um, let's start off with Australia against Germany. So that, yeah, last night, Germany edged Australia 85-82. So, so for Australia, Mills had... Uh, had 21, and Josh Giddy with 17. And then with Germany, the big score is Schrader with 30, and then Low with 20. So Dennis Schrader just went off. So that's one of the things. Yep. So there we go in Okinawa. And let's see what the other result in the Okinawa game is. Yep. And here's the other shocker. Uh, Japan ended up beating Finland. Yes, Japan. So Kawamura with uh, 25, man, Don and Hankinson with 28. And then with Finland, Mark Kinnan with his 27, and Manunten with 13. So that's uh, where um, Japan. So now they're 1-1. One one. Finland, I think, is now 0-2 oh or something. So they're going to kind of get to see. So we're going to have to wait till day three to see the results. Yeah. Okay. So the next uh, location we're going to go is, yep, Mall of Asia. So you had um, Mexico versus, uh, yep, versus uh, Lithuania and, you know, Egypt versus Montenegro. So that's where we're going to go. All right. So let's see the results. Let's uh, go over the scores. So there you go. Montenegro and Egypt. Montenegro won 89 to 74. So uh, Vucevic had 16 and Ivanis had 15. And, of course, um, Amin had 26 and Gardner with 13. So, yeah. So pretty much we know how this is going to go. So Egypt is 0-2. So there you go. Montenegro, I think, is 2-0. So they're looking like they're in the driver's seat. Okay, and then um, let's go to the other game, which is in all Lithuania and Mexico. Yes, indeed. 
So Lithuania won by 30, 96-66. So uh, Djokovic and Maslunas had 15, and uh, Giron for Mexico had 13, and Cruz had 10. So that was uh, pretty much the final right there. Okay. Now before. Yes, so this is the last games. Yeah. Of course, um, they weren't at... Uh, I didn't have time to make the thumbnail, but yes. So they weren't at Philippines, but they're at Smart Arenta Coliseum. Yep. So we have all of these group phases that played. So let's start with the first game of the evening, Italy, Dominican Republic. Uh, Dominican Republic edged out Italy 87-82. Uh, the head coach got tossed again for Italy. No surprise there. And, of course, um, the leading scorer was uh, Spitzu and Fontecchio with 17 and 13. And, of course, um, for Dominican Republic, yes, Carl Anthony Towns. Yep. And Fields. They both had 24 points. So that was pretty much it. Now, I went to this game last last night yes i went to the philippines angola game oh, man that was tough because you know philippines were favored to beat angola and angola just took it right to them so yeah 80 to 70 was the final score so Let's see, uh, Jordan Clarkson had 21 points, uh, Edu had 9, and Kai Soto with 8. So they just got beat. I mean, it was exciting with uh, 12,000 fans, but man, just beat. And on um, the Angola side, Conclaves have 17, and Dominguez had 15, and yep, so that's how it all went down. So, so Gilas is 0-2. But, you know, they're, they're still the thing about all this is like even if there might be 0-2, a lot of these teams are still playing for an Olympic uh, spot in this tournament. So so this is going to be still important. So, yep, so players still got to play the game. So that's where we're at with all of this. So, yep, so that wraps up day three of the results. So I'm tired. So I... So, uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of good. I'm, like, taking a day off in between each game. So we'll see how uh, how the U.S., uh, if I can make it to theirs at Mall of Asia. But, yep, so I've got two games in, and I have one more with Gilas. So I'm going to go to the Gilas game uh, tomorrow night just for uh, last. And then that's – and I might just wrap it up there and then just uh, stay at the Mall of Asia because – because it's kind of far, smart, I mean, that call seems kind of far from where I'm at. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, that's how all the results go. So, yep, and if anybody uh, likes this content, uh, give me the HKO special help to king out, subscribe, comment, and like the video. All right, everyone, I will see you for day four tomorrow.